I thank the Lord for letting me be here today. I just, uh, I praise Him every day for where He's brought me from. You know, I struggled with drug addiction for the better part of 15 years. And, and uh, I, I tried doing things my way for so long, you know. I wanted to go to church on Sunday morning, but I wanted to live away from the world during the week. And, and uh, you know, I finally found the solution to all that and his name is Jesus and when I surrendered it all to him things started changing you know so uh you know I just spend most of I work during the day and in the evenings and the weekends uh, I just uh, do the Lord's will and he's called me to do the youth ministry so uh, we and me and my wife and family we all sing and, but I, I just think and this is song and this called the old man is dead you know it's my testimony song and, and you know, about three years ago, I really started uh, uh, living for the Lord, you know. And, and ever since that day, it just things start changing for me. Every now and then, an old friend of mine, I've not seen in some Somebody ask me, baby, what's on your mind? He wonders why I'm not drinking or painting this old town ring. I tell him I'm serving Jesus now.
and see a friend. It's a hard struggle in this world. 
It's definitely hard as a kid to try to live up to expectations. But I learned that if you have God in your life, you don't have to live up to nobody else's expectations at all. So um, I'm really glad to be here, and I'm glad that God saved me. Um, I, had a, I had a nurse, Miss Kelly, that was at the bridge, and she pulled me every single day to read the Bible and you know, listen to Christian music. And that is what got me where I'm here today. So I just thank God for everything that he's done. That was good, amen. amen. You can move mountains for us. And...
Those are areas in South Asia, North Africa, and the Middle East. Another reason why some of these groups are very difficult to reach has to do with the political environment. It can be very dangerous to go into some of these areas. Also, the different religions in these areas pose different challenges. Some of them persecute Christians. Some of them are just so different and they become so a part of the culture that it's just difficult to share the gospel. So I guess you can kind of get a picture of why the challenge is great. But, again, we can just praise God that we are doing great things in our missions work. And so we've got this chart over here. I'm just going to quickly share a few details on that. This, these are numbers from last year, from 2021, for the IMB. And I'm going to start in that bottom lower right corner. We have a number of 182,000 people who received training. And that's a pretty impressive number. Above that, we have 93 new people groups in places were engaged. So that may seem like a low number, but that's still a good number. And we just want to pray that that number will be even higher next year. We have 495,000 opportunities where people have the opportunity to respond to gospel. We have almost 600,000 who have heard the gospel witness. We have 20, over 22,000 new churches, over 100,000 baptisms, 176,000 new believers. So all of those are good news. That's all great. And we just want to pray for We want to pray that those numbers just increase. And then that last number is kind of different. That last number should just really cause us to want to pray even more. Because that number is saying that there's 157,000 people dying daily without Christ. And that number, if we break it down, goes breaks down to two people every second. So, of course, we don't want to just pray for our international missions. We just want to pray for all of our missions. And even what Joey was saying today, how the North American Mission Board is out doing things today. And will be as time goes on. We want to pray for that. We want to pray for our medical missions. We want to pray for each other. And because we all are missionaries in a way. We all have lost people. And we all have an opportunity to share the gospel. So let's take a moment and pray right now. Let's bow our heads. Father God, Lord, we just praise you and thank you for your grace and your mercy and your love for us. Lord, we thank you that you have shown us the light. You've given us the Holy Spirit. And Father, I pray that you just equip us to go out and share the gospel wherever you place us. And we especially lift up all these international missionaries. Father, we know that some of the challenges they they deal with are just great. And some of them may have been very discouraged at times. So Lord, I pray that you just lift them up and give them great encouragement. We thank you for your word and all the different ways that you provide that help. And we need that. And we also pray that you will prepare hearts and minds for people all throughout the world so that when we do share the light, we can then see, and that seed will grow to a new believer for eternity. Father, we pray all this in your sense. Amen.